say that Hey, it's Matt getting into the army. It's your girl, Janelle here. Welcome back to my channel. And right now, I'm about to make a story time video. My stalker story time video. First story time. And these will be, like, pretty much every week. But if you want to, like, girl, what is going on with your hair? My mom braided my hair. And she has a hairstylist. I had my hair, like, done. But let's get to... Um, the story time video. Shut the heck up, Thomas. I will do it. I found the butt back. Okay. So, let's get started with this video. Okay, so story time video. Yeah, and that's my stalker story. Okay. So, it was like last year. So what was this girl in my class? Her name was Tierra. Tierra. Tariel. Tierra. Wait, I need to sit up a little. Okay. And it was like in gen gen in January this year. Um, she was my friend at school. Well, like her house. Like, um, she was my friend at school. We talked. We played. We did all that stuff. So yeah. And once I bought like this um dolls no it's not it was not dolls um what is that it was like um a frilla candy bag I bought a mini frilla candy bag next day I bought a Michael Kors bag and she was like and the day after that I bought a nine west bag and she was just like, um, come on. She was like, can I get your purse? Can I get your purse? Can I get your purse? I'm like, excuse me, um, no. We can be friends, but you will not, like, take my stuff because I really don't care if you're my, wait, I need to wipe my camera a little. I don't care if you're not my friend. Um, you should buy your own stuff rather off than begging because if you beg, you won't get anything. You have to earn what you get. And she was like, girl, I don't care. Your mama broke anyways. I'm like, oh. Oh, you trying to call me out? My mama broke? Oh, my mama broke. Okay. Yep, my mama show is broke. My mama broke it ever. Yep, my mama's broke. She's broke than ever. I was like, okay. Someone taking a shower out there. I was like, how is my mama broke? But you over here begging for a price. Look at the bag you bring. You have, you put your school supplies in a Dollar General bag. Come on, that. And and then, it was like this other, it was like, then like, the boy that sit right next to me. He, he was like, he was like, leave her alone. Shut up. And I was like, oh, the boy, he, the boy he was to me, he was saying that to me. Leave her alone. Shut up. And I was like, oh, you telling me to shut up? Okay, and then he was like, he was like big lips. And he just called me big lips and was like, "Oh, you trying to check now? Okay, come on, her up earrings off. Come on." And then I was like, "Do something, do something, do something." And he was, he was doing it. He was like, "I don't hit good." And then he was like, and then I was like, and then he like started saying some, some sorry. He started saying stuff under his breath, and I'm like, "Oh, if you have something to say, you can say it up to my face rather than behind my back." And since I big breath of ball, why don't you say it up to my face? And he was just sitting there, sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. So I was like, oh yeah, that is sure what I thought. And he was, he told me to shut up. And I was like, ow! Oh no, you're not telling me to shut up. And he was like, yeah, I'm telling you to shut up. And I was like, and I was like, okay, keep on saying something, mama, knock your hair line straight. And then he was like, I was like, oh yeah. Hush mode now, hush mode. And he was just looking there, looking. There. I was like, "What you looking at?" He was like, "It's my eyes. God gave me eyes to see." And I said, "Yeah, God gave me fists to knock your hairline straight, okay?" And he was just like sitting there. What is going on with this tablet? Therno, I don't want to talk to you, Therno. Okay. Do so. Um. If I'm like, who's there now? BF, like BF. Me, him? 
That's my BF. Bali! It's like my best friend. But he's a guy. He's my best friend. Okay, he's my BF though. Okay, so I was in. Um, yeah, who's the last one? I was like, God gave me this to knock your hairline straight. And then, he's a guy, right? So he pushed me, like, pushed me back. And then I was like, excuse you. No, he pushed me. Then he, we're in line. He did this. And then he said, um, excuse you. And I was like, excuse me, oh no, um, I was like, excuse me, oh no, excuse you. And then, and then he was like coming back and he like, this is me. And I was like right here and he was coming back and then he just like pushed me, like jolted me this way. And, and then I was like, and then, and then I was like, stop, leave me alone. And he was like, what did I do? I was like, oh, you know what you did. You're mental, so, like, um, I'm not about to fight you because I have better things to worry about than to worry about you. And then he was like, then he pushed me one, like, a third time. And I was like, push me one more time. I swear to God, I swear. You don't like what I would reply to you. And came back, pushed me. I pushed him back on the floor, and then he was like, <laughs> and I was like, okay. And then he started saying, he was like, he was like, um, why is your face so big? And then I said, okay, oh, you're trying to like say something about me again? Okay, my face is big, but you're the poster child of abortions, okay? And then, and then he was like, he was um, that's not like my hair. My hair was the same way. And then he was like, you need to get your hair done. I was like, oh, you talking about my hair? Look at your hair coat. Why do you have, like, all those white things in your hair? You have black in your hair, boy. You have alopecia. And then he, he was like, leave me alone. And then came back, pushed me, and then I pushed him to the ground. And then, like, like I pushed him to the ground. Then, then I slapped the back of his head. And then he was like, leave me alone. I was like, oh, you started it. And then he was like. Walked away, right? Stood the day. He was just looking and looking and looking and looking and looking. I said, oh, I see you looking at me. Do you have an eye problem? Maybe you need my glasses here. You deserve them more than I do. You need them more than I do because you have an eye problem. Why are you, like, you looking at me? And he was, like, just staring there. And so he wouldn't think me alone. And he was just, like, throwing pencils, just poking me. I was like, stop. And then I just flipped the pencil to his eye, and he told. And he was like, you man. And it was like, I said, he started throwing pencils on me, so I hit him back. And he was like, why would you even hit him? Um, that's what the teacher said. I was like, okay. Okay, and I'm like, why did God give you a nose to smell? Okay? You can do several things with your hand. Hit, clap, snap, whatever. And if someone hits me, I'm not going to sit there like a shaky statue. I'm not a statue to just to be hit at and just. I'm not a statue. If you hit me, I'll hit you back. Okay. And then he like lives like three blocks away from me. From my house. Not apartments, but house. <laughs> from my apartments, but my house. And he was just. He knocked on my window. I was like, leave me alone. He kept knocking on my window, just saying, open your window, open your window. I was like, no. And then this video will be 10 minutes. By the way, he was like knocking, 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 knocking. And he was just like spying on me every day, just looking at me like, because I had like my things from the side of my window and my blinds were kind of open like that, like the bottom of it. And then he was looking through there and I caught him looking through there. I caught him looking and he didn't even realize that so I had like a ball and I threw the ball at the window which like kind of jolted him back and he just, he was looking at my window every day so once I just came out from the back I saw him and like I just like twisted his ears and slapped him and was like leave me alone I was like leave me alone and then he was like ooh I'm telling I was like you can tell the school but you're the one Talking me, and at school he was just like this. Literally, he was like this, and and I was um school he was looking at me, but um like first there was like another person looking 
but it was like a girl and the guy he was always looking at me looking at my window and when I found his notebook it was like open he dropped his notebook open when we were going to computer class and I saw him writing what I wore every day and what I said literally I'm not lying he wrote what I wore and what I said in his notebook and he wrote Janelle status something like that I don't remember if it said status or something but it was like Janelle and I was like oh my gosh and I was like you're a stalker and I'm a I had to confront him with and stuff. And then, like, I had fixed my blinds, but then I was, like, hearing noises. And then I got so scared, like, this guy needs to leave me alone. So I called the LAPD, Los Angeles Pedophile Department, whatever. Los Angeles P Police Department. Police. And so the guy, um, like, they moved him. He doesn't live in, like, the set of houses I live now. So... So, if you're wondering, like, what was going through your mind when he looked, when he first saw him looking at the light, like, when I first saw him look at the moment, I was like, don't you open up that window. Okay, so, I was just like, don't you open up that window. Don't you lose that this is all we do. Okay, so, yeah, that's it for my stalker slash story. Whatever. So, I love you all. Yourself, always, these guys, remember, it's always OG, everything. Comment down below if you want me to do more stories times. Comment down below yes if you want more story time. Comment down below no if you are straight with this story time. Okay, but yeah. That's it for this video. Bye.